guys a hearty welcome to today's chemistry session today in this session let's uh, discuss or let's learn about the physical properties of amines okay and then what are the physical properties of amines how they look like how they appear you see i will find the amines with less than 3 carbon atoms are gases with a fishy odor that means those amines those aliphatic amines not those aromatic amines but those aliphatic amines long chain amines with less than 3 carbon atoms in that amine if there are up to 2 carbon atoms that means less than 3 carbon atoms they will be existing as gases and it will have a fishy odor and that fishy odor is due to methyl amine okay and then primary amines with the three or more carbon atoms if it is a primary amine that means what is a primary amine two hydrogen atoms in amine are substituted by two alkyl groups isn't it so if it is a primary amine which is having three or more carbon atoms that amine will exist as liquids okay and those higher amines those who are having longer uh, chains or bigger number of carbon atoms will be appearing as solids so that is uh, you have to understand about uh, the normal just appearance and order of amines okay let's see another question related to the physical properties of amines why does aniline turn blackish brown in open air you know this open air always stands for oxidation isn't it oxygen is present in air and uh, it may subject to atmospheric oxidation that's what the answer is also the same they undergo atmospheric oxidation and color gets developed okay so what you will write aryl amines including aniline are colorless upon storage they undergo atmospheric oxidation and color gets developed that's all okay so here we have another question why are amines soluble in water so we have seen we have shown here the solubility of amine in water you know that whatever be the substance to get soluble in water it, it should form a hydrogen bonding with water right then it will be easily soluble so amines are able to make a hydrogen bonding make hydrogen bonding with the water so intermolecular hydrogen between amine and the water molecules will help amine to get soluble in water so these are the intermolecular hydrogen bonding you can see here amine water amine okay intermolecular hydrogen bonding intermolecular hydrogen bonding with water molecules so that is the answer because amines are soluble in water because they are able to form intermolecular hydrogen bonding with water molecules okay here we have another important question that is asked in the cbse exam and it is uh, very important you can see the question arrange the following in increasing order of their solubility in water so these are the amines given ch3 nh2 ch3 thrice n and ch3 nh ch3 so what do you have to do you know that amines are soluble in water right because they can form intermolecular hydrogen bonding and what is present along with amine that is only the question now so just look into that question we have uh, here ch3 nh2 and this is a hydrocarbon part and here we have ch3 thrice n the hydrocarbon part and here we have one ch3 here and one ch3 here okay so this is primary this is secondary and this is tertiary and this will have the longest hydrocarbon chain right and then this and then this you know that hydrocarbons are not soluble in water and so its solubility decreases with increase in chain of carbon isn't it increase in hydrocarbon chain when the hydrocarbon chain increases the solubility of amine is also getting decreased that's all so accordingly you can select it so which will have the least ch3 thrice n will be the least soluble because it is having the lowest hydrocarbon part then ch3 
NHCH3. It has got two hydrocarbon and then CH3 NH. So this will be the order of solubility of amines when considering these three amines. Okay, so you, so you can easily understand. Look at the hydrocarbon part. The, the one, the amine that is having the lowest hydrocarbon part will be least soluble in water because hydrocarbons are not soluble in water, but amine is soluble in water. Okay, I think you have understood. It's very simple, right?